Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting at my sewing machine going to do a little crumb chat tonight. I haven't been doing it because when I do a crumb chat video I like to have some crumb blocks on eBay after the video but the thing is is I don't really have a lot of um, you know big enough pieces so it would take a long time for me to make well, not that long, but you know what I mean. I don't want to be having to do a whole lot of sewing and then take pictures and do all that. So I thought, why can't I just sit down and start making some crumb blocks? The last time I had quite a few big pieces that were, you know, big enough to, you know, almost big enough to cut. You know, I do have some, you know, things like this size or whatever. But uh, I just thought I would sit down and... Uh, start making some blocks because I like to put them on eBay. See, I have things started like strip sets that can go into crumb blocks and, you know, different things. But we're just going to, ooh, ooh, look at all these nice little strips. And that just reminds me of the fact that I saved these. These are selvages. I think they're all selvages, maybe some folds. And uh, I want to put those in some of the, uh, the crumbs the crumb blocks. So let me just move my box and I can fill you in on a few things. What I've been doing, what's going on. See this is a big enough one, but this is Christmassy. Winter, I should say. There's, uh, I don't know, some Christmas stuff there. And, uh, but anyway, I'm not going to, you know, get big on that. Maybe I can do some other Christmas things with the crumbs that I will be creating all year because I'm going to be doing uh, Christmas projects and I have a lot of Christmas fabric. So let's just start and ooh look, look at this nice strip from, I don't know, I must have done a quilt project or something and this is nice to use. Now here is something that I had already put on a strip but I didn't cut them. So I think I'll start by pressing this stuff open See, these a little beginning. Uh, let me press this and trim that, and then we'll use these, and I'll work off that. This is what I got out of that strip that I had. Now, when I have big things like this, I put those together, but I'll probably be cutting that smaller because I really like my crumb blocks to have small pieces, or at least some. I got that out of it. Now these are pretty good to build on. I could easily in no time build these up to like four or five inch squares. But I still don't want to set up for a slideshow tonight. I just want this to be quick and easy because I'm actually trying to take a day off today. <laughs> I've been out all day with girlfriends. My friend Donna's house. We had a girls day. It was so nice and fun to just hang out with the girls. And I thought, I'll just take the rest of the day off. But Joe just went to the store, and I thought, ooh, I'm going to sneak in a video while he's gone. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. And then I told him we can just uh, hang and watch TV for the rest of the night. I don't know if I had that one. It was over there. I don't know if I want to include these blue and red. I think I might like to save those for something else, uh, for uh, other crumb blocks. I don't know. I'm just going to put them aside for now. But let's just get busy on these. So yes, uh, girls day and it was really nice. And thank you, Donna. Because I know she's watching. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here. These have, you know, quite a few of the prints that um, match. So that's good. It looks cohesive. They all have a piece of this fabric like that. I wonder if the lighting is right. Hang on. I don't know if this is better or worse, but we're stuck with this now. So they all have that piece because they were all sewn onto that strip. And I do that often. I'll take a strip and just lay down pieces and and that's how we, you know, that's how we do it. Oh yeah, okay. So if you don't know anything about crumb quilting, I have an entire series called The Crumb Quilt Adventure that I did, I don't know, several years back. And I will link to that in the description of this video. Now I just need some other scraps. And this is, uh, you know, I don't know, it's big pieces. So I won't be using, oh, I like that. And it should be enough. 
I'm just thinking I could just cut these apart. Will that be enough of this black piece right here? If not, it certainly would be there. I think I'm going to do this right here. And this is a salvage, so I could do top stitching. Or I'm going to, let's see, I'm just going to, I'm going to do not top stitching. I'm going to do right sides together. Let's send this baby through. No worries about seam allowances or being straight. No intersections to worry about. It's just a really fun way to relax and sew. Okay, let's cut a piece of this. Now for the hell of it, I'm just going to put the, the salvage side down. You can sew on a salvage and turn it over and press. But look, I don't I want it more wonky. I'd like it maybe like this. So I'm gonna put it this way and I'll sew with it at an angle like that. I don't know if you can see. Where's my I need a new tag. This one's getting very thick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this stuff off. Oh my god, Rocket, you scared me. You must want to go out. Hang on. We're back. <laughs> this video is like kind of flustered. I'm flustered. Because I really felt like sewing, but I feel like I need to take time off every now and then. So this is going to be pretty cool. Because these pieces, let's see, how many pieces were there? One, two, three, four, five, six. But some of these can be turned into more. Um, if I put a lot of that flower power kind of print, that'll make them go together. And we'll be good. All right, so let's do another flower power. Let me press these. And then when we press, we trim. Uh, let's make an angle here. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you guys that. What I hear the most in comments when I do crumb piecing is the people who say, mine don't ever come out like yours, and then they figure out it's because they don't do enough angles. They basically just like go around and around um, with you know squares or rectangles or strips, and they don't want to cut something that they've just done and make an angle. But angles are cool. Like like right here, I could cut an angle or I could just take a piece of fabric and sew it there. I like to do that because, you know, it's, it's why take the extra step? You sew first, trim after. So let's do that with this. Let's see, how much of a piece do I need? Um, let's go right here. Now, I'm going to make an angle here. So I'm just going to lay this somewhere here. Well, let's do let's do that for the hell of it. I have no clue how it's going to look. So see how I put that on there? Crooked. Now I'm going to trim this off. Let me press it open. Now I'll trim to follow that line. Let's follow this line. And see, now we, we have an angle here, which is, to me, more interesting than something straight all the time. I need a new tag. That one is way too thick. Let me look at my trash. I took a scrap, and I just doubled it. I like it to be doubled up a little bit. Now this, you know, I don't need all of this, so let's take a piece of this. Oh, and let's use the both colors. How about we do that? So let me cut this off. And let's just do like that. We'll make it, make it crooked. Let's put a little bit more of the green on there. And then when I do that, that would look like that. All right, let's do that. And if you want to know about this little thing I'm calling a tag, I will have a video explaining in the description of this video. Now, see if I open that up. Still left some pretty big 
pieces, but that's more interesting. Now, here's what I'm going to show you, another trick. Um, instead of just cutting this and letting this be loose somewhere, what you can do is take a strip, because I can make another block with this leftover. There's enough there. And we're just going to pretend that it's cut. We don't actually have to cut. And we can, let's see, how do I want to do it? This way. Let's just sew another piece like this. I'm going to sew here on this side. I can cut that off. So now we have a piece and we have this sewn here and this one sewn here. I'm going to cut between those. I can press this one open. I can press this one open. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to trim, I'm going to follow the angle on both sides. I can even that up a little bit. Now I don't have to follow the angle. You know, I'm going by what is going on here. I can go this way if I want. Now we just have two things to sew, make a little point. And let's see, I'll just follow the angle on this one. So I broke that piece up into two different things. And I can do the same here. I can, uh, you know, sew something here, and then this can be a part of another block. I just love doing this. It's so fun. Okay, this guy. You know I don't want all of this. And so I sew the strips together, and knowing that I will be, you know, cutting that, Want just that color? Do I want some blue, some yellow? Let's do some blue, some yellow. Oh no, let's do, I think the, the, I don't know. How about I do this? Let's do that. Now we'll see what that is. I'm going to go all the way down there. And uh, I'll trim after. I love seeing what I did after I did it. <laughs> So what else do I want to tell you while I'm trimming and stuff? Uh, like I said, if you think that you're not going to understand what I'm doing, that's okay. That This video is supposedly just for chatting. But I get so carried away with the fabric. I like this. I am still planning on having two Christmas blocks per month, April through September. This is April, and it's getting near the end. And I'm going to try still very hard to have two Christmas blocks this month. Um, no clue what the plan is yet, but that's okay. I think I can do it. So, I got this going on now. And the dreaded pile of two inch squares that I'm doing for that king size quilt. I have periods where I work on it often and then I just completely give up because it's so fucking overwhelming. But uh, I will get it done. It might take another year. Who knows? And um, But I'm excited to start the Christmas quilt and I still want to do a row by row Afghan. Please, please make me do that. I want to do it so bad. Um, what can we do here? See, I don't know. See, I'm not one to just like everything straight like that. It's okay, especially if it's a big block, but I like things to be weird, weirder than that. And I'm out of this stuff. I guess I could do one more piece. Let's get this piece out of the way here. So, I don't know, let's do something at an angle once again. Let's just do, let's do, mm, let's do that right there. Going with that. So if you happen to be wondering about Joe's squash that he bought that day we went to the farmer's market, <laughs> he bought a whole bag of yellow squash and he has to have zucchini with it. He doesn't want to eat just one of the colors. It has to be both. And I said, that's going to end up rotting. He's like, I can do that in one night. I'm like, no, that's not happening. But he's been doing pretty good. 
He has three yellow left. We bought four green to go with the yellows, um, but now he had only three yellow left, so he went to buy. He sold to eat two of the yellows, and he went to go get two zucchinis, and that's why he's at the store. Now, I'm just going to trim this instead of putting that other piece right away on the other side, and uh, he's going to have that for dinner tonight. Squash, yellow, and zucchini, and uh, chicken that's in the crock pot. I guess I can add to this guy. Oh, look! I found another whole strip of this stuff. Cool beans. Do the pink there. Is that long enough? It'll be long enough. That's too long. I'm wasting now. Let's put it right there. Now I can pull other pieces that are already put together. Look, look at the little tiny strips in there. Now you know that I didn't start with tiny strips like that. I take kind of wide strips, but I just put the fabric close together. Um, you'll learn all this stuff if you go watch my crumb quilting adventure. I'm going to do that. And let's just do that. And this will be going somewhere else. Let's do this little strippy thing here. Maybe I can find a better place to put the strippy thing. That goes together. I like that. I don't really have too much else to fill you in on, except I went out this weekend. I haven't been out in three weekends. And um, I did, uh, well, in the third weekend, I went out one night, but I only stayed out for a little bit. So I'm not counting that. But I went out Thursday night this week and Friday night. I haven't been going out dancing as much, and I danced so much Friday night that I ended up having to leave early because my legs were ready to collapse, and I just wanted to be home in my bed because I danced a lot. It was... Um, rock the Boat and Thump Daddy, one after the other, well, with an hour break between. And I danced for most of Rock the Boat. I mean, I danced a lot. And then for Thump Daddy, I danced for one hour straight um, without, like, sitting down for more than just, uh, you know, 15 or 30 seconds, have a sip of water or whatever, and check my, my texts and right back up on the dance floor. So that was a good weekend. Let's put that little strippy thing here. I think that will work. I know some people have an, you know, an issue with all this angle stuff. Some people like things to be, you know, even and, and well thought out and planned. Not everybody is cut out to do crumb quilting. But I like it like when it's all over the place. I <laughs> just like stuff like this so much. Now this, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to build on that because I like, I like all that littleness. And when you have a lot of littleness, you can put bigger pieces around it. So there's not a whole ton of seams all in the same place. So let's do that. Let's do that for this. Let's just get something. Oh, I have some strips here. Like I have a strip like this. Let's put that. Um, let's put that here. Now, normally I would fill this strip, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to trim it. And yes, I have a flipped seam there. That's not the end of the world. And I'm going to push this back. See how this block is going to get bigger quickly? Oh, look at this nice little strip. Let's do that. It's getting bigger. This is what we started with, this little piece right here. Ooh, I have a nice strip like this. I'm sure Joe's going to be home soon, and he'll be doing cooking sounds. So I'll be signing off. I just wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit and just felt like having a video to edit. I still haven't done anything to enclose this piece on this side and that side. I'm going to put this little strippy thing 
here. It fits and we're doing it. Because I do like it when there's a lot of stuff sometimes meeting up. And then this can be trimmed like this. And that doesn't really need to be trimmed much at all. Let's just close up this part right here. And again, don't be afraid to use selvages. Even if it's selvages with writing, even if it's selvages with the fringe. Some people think it's a crime that sometimes I'll put the selvage down and I'll sew on the selvage edge. And when we flip it, we lose some of the writing. I don't care. Don't let um, anybody tell you you shouldn't do something. So we started out with some pieces that were on a, on a strip. And um, I cut those. And now we have this. We have this. And some of those pieces got cut and added. You know, they would like became beginning parts of a new block. That, that, this. This might have just been a leftover. We didn't actually build on this one again, but we can. So this is all, you know, just from what I had to start with and I've added to. So I'm going to have this little pile put aside and I will finish these and I will make, I'm going to try to make six blocks. I could probably make more. And, you know, the next time I do a crumb chat, I'll work on something else. These will be done uh, or I might work on them again in another crumb chat whatever but at some point you will see these if you recognize them um, on eBay but not tonight <laughs> but you can always go check my eBay anyway I've got some cool stuff uh, up for grabs I don't have an auction right now tonight but always go check my eBay the link to my eBay is in the description of this video or you can always visit me at my blog darlingmisho.com and I have links there showing you all my stuff. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.